are you the one who dealing with the error code 0x800 blah 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 when you try and upgrade the latest version of Windows 10? Well, watch the whole video. What's up friends and welcome to another tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this dope error code on your system when you're trying to upgrade your Windows. So make sure you watch the whole video. Don't forget to like the video and hit that subscribe button and let's go. But just right before we get started, let's know what are the causes for this error code on Windows 10. Well, one of the reasons is that you're due to a VPN or, I don't know, internet problem or something. Your system is not able to connect the Microsoft Update server successfully. So this is one of the main reasons that this error will happen on your PC. This got a lot of causes. I don't know, another cause is about your system don't have free space in the system reserve partition. So this is what makes Windows Update fail and you will see the error code. 0x800f0922 if I spelled it right. So let's see how we can fix this error. I'm gonna give you some solutions to fix this error so simple. So stay tuned. Well the very first solution that I can give you is to simply run Windows 10 troubleshooter so in order to fix the error. So the only thing you have to do is to press the Windows button and search for setting. So you can uh, access to your computer setting here scroll down and see update and security and at the left tab you can see troubleshoot so just left click on it scroll down a little bit and you can see windows updates right here so left click on this thing and click run the troubleshooter this will run the troubleshooter of the windows 10 so it will actually detect your i don't know windows update problems and it will give you advice to how to fix it so as you see it says download and install pending updates oh seems like i didn't update my windows so i can simply click on apply this fix to start you know fixing the error and you can just simply uh, click on skip the fix to continue troubleshooting without applying this fix. Well, that's it. This is the first solution. If that didn't work for you, just watch the entire video. Well, the next solution that I can give you to fix this annoying error is by running some tools on your PC. So in order to do it, just right click on your start icon here and click on Windows PowerShell and then click yes. You gotta put some codes right here. I will put all the codes in the description. So just watch what I'm doing. And then press the enter button and it will start some scanning and just some downloadings this will make take some time but you know it will restart your corrupt or missing windows files and which is necessary for your actually windows update and then wait until the scan completes and restart your pc and start updating your windows again another solution that can help you is to enable dotnet framework on your windows in order to do this just simply press windows button and search for control panel uh, press the enter and here you got to search for Windows features so I just simply search for Windows features here and press the enter and you can see programs and features left click on this one and in the left tab you can see turn Windows features on or off so just simply click on this and you can see .NET frameworks here mm, just check all the boxes you know check all the boxes and then click OK restart your PC and start updating again this will simply uh, work for you if all these fixes didn't work, just watch the whole video. And the last solution is to turn off your Windows Defender Firewall. In order to do this, you just need to press Windows button and search for Control Panel. So it will run your system control panel simple and easy. Click on System Security and you can see Windows Defender Firewall here. And here in the left tab again, you can see Turn Windows Defender Firewall on or off. So just left click on this thing and just click on Turn of Windows Defender Firewall which is not recommended but you know you have to do this and click on the same on the public network setting and click OK and just restart your PC and try reinstalling the update. This is all the fixes that I could create a video about it so if any of these fixes work for you just uh, comment down below and just comment down below and I appreciate it so much. Uh, thank you all for watching just don't forget to like the video and hit that subscribe button. See you in the next video. Peace.